Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we still got a couple things left to do in Glitter Gulch Mine, and thankfully we should be close to done. So let's deal with some stuff over here first. Oh, but first, there is Jam Jars. We got our second move here. Another use for the Feathered Freak! Makes good use of her pointy beak! The bad guys know that it's no joke, just press B to give him a poke! Alright, so now we got our new move, which is actually a melee attack. Just press B and there you go, it's yours. I think we gotta go this way. You learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner! Well, maybe you can help me out here! A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind! Don't worry, we'll go in there and blast them. No! Shoot one, and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep, you'll have to be quick, because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Oh. This is the part I hate. I've always hated this game, because there's always like one or two that I miss. There's only 15, but they're spread out so far. And when you destroy the first one, you got 200 seconds. So, good luck to you on that one. Okay, if you can get them in, like, in the dead ends, that'd be great. That'll definitely make your life a hell of a lot easier. Again, this is a time where I wish they had a radar system for this. Because having to, like, look around for them... Not to mention there will be enemies that'll try to harass you... ...makes things a lot worse. But at least we're making good time right now. Only time will tell to see if we maintain that bit of good time. Because you have a little bit of a delay when you do that uh, beak bayonet attack, so keep that in mind when you're aiming your attack. Okay, we only got eight left already and only expended, what, 50 seconds. Don't get too confident in the time you're saving yet. Because it could all go away real fast when you're, ow, looking for that last one. And that last one could be pretty much anywhere. Okay, five left. Beautiful. Keep it up. And luckily, there's two right in this cluster. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, there you went. You piece of crap. Be sure to keep your hand away from the Z button, because if you tap it once and it hits the dynamite, they all blow up. So, uh, wouldn't that ruin your day if you came so close and you accidentally hit Z instead of B? Because they remember, as uh, the dude said, they'd blow up. And you don't want them to blow up. Because that's a fail. Oh, there's one over here. Why the hell is that? You hit me there. What the hell, man? This is where using your ears will come in handy, because if you can hear the bounce, you know they're there. Let me go up. Hello? Oh, oh, we found it! We found it! Much obliged to you, partners! How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, all I got is funny-shaped nugget. I reckon you can have that. I would gladly like to have that, especially since it's a jiggy. You're right, it is oddly shaped, but I'll take what I can get. Alright, now comes the other hard part. I'm trying to figure your way back. Well, I know we gotta take hide the high ground. That much is for certain. Oh, never mind, I was that close to the exit anyway. Beautiful. I don't see why I gotta take my time here. You know, there's just dynamite boxes. As long as I'm moving, they can't hit me. So there we go. We got one of a few things done. I'm gonna head back. Because I realized that I did miss the uh, other uh, honeycomb piece. And if I remember correctly, he's right... It's right next to uh, where you find Bully and Bill's shed. Like, it's right over here. You see that boulder? 
I did not mean to do that, by the way. Uh, I'll just go through here. Emma, I did not grab it. So you gotta destroy this boulder in order for you to get the extra honeycomb piece that I missed. There we go. Let's take a look at our totals right now. We are missing one Jinjo that we already know about and two Jiggies. And believe it or not, the way to get that Jiggy is not through this level, but the first level. So I'm going to meet you back at Mayhem Temple just so we can get that taken care of. Why don't you give me like a few minutes, actually, before I uh, meet you over at Mayhem Temple. Seeing as how I got the uh, Bill Drill, we should be able to get ourselves a Jinjo in the plateau itself. So, if you don't mind, I'll gladly show you exactly where it is, partners. All you have to do is just go over here. Well, you have to drill this first. Nicely done! That's our first blue Jinjo! So, I'll meet you at Mayhem Temple at the prison compound, okay? Give me a moment. Alright, we made it back to the prison compound, so all you have to do is go over to this boulder and build drill it. Eek! Thanks very much for unblocking my passage! That's for the Jiggy! Hand it over, you plague-ridden pest! Eek! You'll have to come and see my Master Bill about that! Okay, we can go see him. Luckily, we only need to go this way. There, now we're back in the shed. Or the hut. What are you so sad about? Huh, <laughs> guff beans. My road partner, Dilberta, is still missing. Funny you should say that. We had another look round and managed to find her. There she is now. Hi, honey. I'm home. Dilberta? Is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Dilberta. Take this pretty little gold nugget as a reward! Uh, I will gladly take that. Thank you so much. Also, how the hell do you sleep? You don't even have, like, a mattress! That's a freaking table! You put your pillow on a table! Like, you don't get back problems or something? Oh, uh, what if you and Dilberta decide to get it on? You're gonna get splinters! Screw off, you. Okay, we got that taken care of, so... Seems how we've got a lot done, and we got ourselves a new move. Well, actually, several new moves. I think it's time to head over back to Spiral Mountain. Well, I'm going there for, like, a couple reasons, so why don't you give me, like, a couple minutes, and I'll meet you there. Alright, we made it back to, uh, Grunty's Lair, and because we got five pages... Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time! Spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My first cheat is feathers. Got it? Here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayhem Temple. Code Chamber. Letters. Got it? No? I still don't understand. I do, Banjo! Come on, let's go use that cheat! This is a menu of the codes I have told you. Okay, feathers. Oh, that seems simple enough. I know how to spell feathers. Now, if you didn't want to, like, enter the... or to get the pages, you could have just spelled Cheeto and then feathers backwards. That would have also given you that. But it just wouldn't be good enough. Hmm... I believe there was something you can do with these, uh, grenade eggs. I don't know if it's this area, or probably the one after. But you would be able to use those grenade eggs to get, like, a cartridge. You know that cartridge you saw earlier? We can probably take care of that. But first, well, there is another cartridge we can do, and it involves the waterfall. Oh, I almost missed that. Let's go in here. So, believe it or not, you could never get here in Banjo-Kazooie because this place didn't exist. And there's a cartridge. So let's do something about that. What you would have to do is do your grip grab right over here. And then you enter this little secret passage. 
and you should end up on the other side of this cage in order to get the cartridge. And that gives you a blue egg! Wow! It's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious blue secret egg! I wonder what's inside! I don't know. It's a mystery. That explains the shell being like a bunch of question marks. Alrighty then. Let's go uh, get ourselves another secret. And it involves the grenade eggs, like I mentioned before. I just gotta remember where exactly you get it. I feel like it should be somewhere around here. Like anywhere you get the mysterious boots. Or it could be right here. I don't know if you can actually use the grenade eggs in this immediate spot, but let's try it anyway. Oh, yes you can! Perfect! I was getting kind of worried that it would have to be, like, another way you'd have to do it. Oops, I missed. And you get the pink egg! Well, well, well! It's Banjo-Kazooie's mysterious pink secret egg! I wonder what's inside! Oh, before we go, we can build drill this boulder. I said we'll build drill this boulder. Help! I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up under this rather weighty boulder. Please get rid of it. I can hardly breathe. I don't know. Someone got freed from a boulder and she did some nasty stuff. How do we know you're not going to do the same thing, Mr. Fish? Ah, that's so much better. Shouldn't you be in the water where it's safer? You're right. I'll probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the Spiral Mountain soon. I suppose you'll be wanting a carry then? Well, I'd walk there myself, but we goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the leg department. Yeah, very much so. Alright, so we'll put you in the backpack. Weirdly enough, you won't dry up faster. There you go, you can go in the water. Thanks, guys. Perhaps these extra bubbles may be of some use. Bubbles? We want at least a jiggy for that. Sorry, I'm all out of those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. So let me press A and B together. Cheerio! Okay, so now your air meter actually increases in length. Talk about snazzy if I say so myself. We not only got ourselves two mysterious eggs, but we also have the ability to swim faster and be able to swim longer. So with that, I think now would be a good time to head back to uh, take care of the quest. We can do something about those eggs, I suppose? Maybe we should do that first, if we can. And I do remember where we can do that. It would be somewhere around here. You go this way. No way, it's not this way. It's actually another place you'd have to go, which is also by this wall. I think it's around here, actually. Yeah, it is. You go to this special place. To Heggy's egg shit. Block! Heggy the hen! Block! Buy a special egg! Block! Got both special Heggy eggs! Piece of cake, actually! Block! Skinny bird Heggy Zero! Block! Throw them in nests! Okay. There's the blue one. There's already a yellow one there. Fuck! Watch Heggy Hatch! Okay, you can do that. Man, you really need to lose some weight. Uh, try your best not to sodomize yourself, thank you. Fuck! Special Heggy Egg Award Homing Eggs! Fuck! Very nice! Fuck! Go to Cheeto Code Room and enter homing to enable feathered feature. Hmm. That's interesting, but I don't think I'm interested in that. Uh, I kind of contradicted myself, actually. Clock! Special Heggy Egg Award Brie Gold Bash! Clock! Press B and B again for Skinny Bird Bash! Clock! So funny! Alright, let's see you get over to. Oh, you're not gonna go over to the yellow one. Oh, wow! That's brutal. We can actually break this, by the way. 
and that allows you to split up. Unfortunately, we don't even have the move yet, and Heggy's not going to be able to go up that ramp. She's a little too big. So, with that, we're going to have to leave that alone until we get that move. Suitable eggs may be found closer to home than... I already found them. Like, I found both of them. What we still need to do is find a use for that ice key. And we're probably not going to be able to find it yet. So with that, why don't we just go to Witchy World? I think we accomplished a lot. Whatever we can actually do. So let us go to Witchy World right now. I mean, we've still got around maybe 10 minutes on average. We can probably get some stuff done. Oh, we're not allowed to bring food out there. Alright, that's cool. Suit yourselves. Hey. Hello there, little darlings. Er, have we met, lady? Not personally, but I believe you helped my husband out a while ago when we still lived on Freeze Easy Peak. Ah, then you must be Mrs. Boggy. How is the big guy? Oh, a little older, a little fatter. He's given up sled racing and taken to watching his new widescreen TV all day. Lazy oaf. Anyway, I must be getting back home. I told my children Groggy, Soggy, and Moggy to meet me here. I don't suppose you feel like rounding them up for me. Oh, wow. Now we gotta round up some kids. The same kids that we bought gifts for in Freeze Easy Peak. And they would cry if you didn't give it to them. I'll just pop it back on the grill. Uh, the pure punters will never know. Oh, I've been rumbled. Ha, <laughs> damn right you have. Rhinos, buggers. Hey! Don't do that! Ha, ah, serves you right. Didn't get any health from that. That's unfortunate. Okay, we can't go in there because the fence is closed. Oh god, slot machines. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. But a grenade egg will. You got a ticket for Conga's Big Top. Hmm, do I want a burger? I suppose I'll get a burger. Big House Burgers! 100% meat of rotten origin topped with a synthetic cheese slice! Well, at least they're honest about it. Fancy a burger? Big Al sells the tastiest burgers in Witchy World. Err, uh, how on earth did you get a job in catering? Well, I'm not sure really. I used to clean out the toilets. I've lost my appetite all of a sudden. Go on, give them a try. I've got a few left. Do you want them? Give me some burgers, Al! Okay, kid. Burger's coming right up. You want fries with that? Ooh, yes, please! Well, too bad. Burgers is all I got. Go see Salty Joe. And you just made me a Salty Joe. What? I've got no more burgers left. Better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where? I can't see it. Oh, God, that's gross. I've dealt with enough slot machines in Yu-Gi-Oh, for crying out loud. Or, rather, just one. Huh, <laughs> you ain't getting me. Oh, the spinner. I'm not gonna play that game yet. I'm probably not gonna be playing any games yet. Instead, I'm just gonna do my uh, due diligence and, uh... Oh god, it's the question mark one. You've collected a random stop, honeycomb! Press B to choose your new energy bar! Oh no. That's bad. <laughs> it was on full, but then it went to empty. Oh, well, let's get a move. Shooting eggs to fence, bird and bear, so why not fire them in the air? See up gives you the aiming sight, then proceed to shoot from height. Thank you for giving me all my health back. Okay, so let's do some looking around, because there were some notes. Unless I grab them all from here. I don't think I grabbed them all already. Okay, Mumbo is going to be needed for this part. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. 
Oh, Jinjo! Yay! We got ourselves a Jinjo up here. On top of the uh, Dodgem game. Okay, is that all we can do in this area for now? Well, until we get Mumbo over here to power this up. Yes, it is. Looking for the kids? You might find them in the Inferno, Star Spinner, Crazy Castle, or the Dodgems. Well, I guess we're not going to be able to find out if the kids are in here until we get Mumbo to help out. I could probably check out the Spinner, but that can wait. Wait a minute, there's a slot machine again. Uh-huh, I'm not falling for that again. Huh, <laughs> nice try. Oh, it looks like a fortune teller. Come inside and have your fortune told by Madam Grunty! However, we are contractually obliged to point out that you may not necessarily like what she decides! I'll be the judge of that. Ah, welcome! I will now choose your fate! You win an energy bar refill! Oh, cool. You can actually just go back there as many times to probably get some more information on sheets. If you so choose, but I'm not going to bother with that. Hmm, Dive of Death. That does not sound encouraging in the slightest. Pay here. I got nothing to pay. So I don't know how I'm going to help you there. <laughs> Instead, I'll just climb up this area. Looks like I see a Jiggy up there, too. Oh dear, this... this looks very dangerous. How do I get myself lined up properly? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I need to jump high! Got it! Yes! Yay! I am safe. And for some reason the music stopped. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? This is just pretty much my go around the area. And then we'll uh, take care of the rest later. I don't think this was supposed to happen. But, let's deal with it anyway. Separate skills are what you lack! So let's get Kazooie out your pack! Find your pads is what you do! Pressing A makes one become two! Oh, now the music's back to normal. Perfect. Okay, did we get all the moves here already? No, there's still one. Okay. Let me climb up this big top first. If I can. Oh, oh, I almost made it, but then I just decided to talent trot. Maybe I don't need the talent trot. Oh no, don't do that. I want you to stay on the thing. Why? Come on, stay on the thing. Self straight, dog. You got this. You get it? Yes! What's up here then? Uh, looks like, uh, clamber boots or whatever they're called. Either way, I can't use those. Got ourselves another Jinjo! Beautiful! Um, is there anything, like, up here? We already scoured that area. That looks like the Inferno area that we can't do much with yet. And there is the fries! But we haven't opened them yet. Unless you go over here. Ah, sheesh! Someone found the switch! I hate customers! Always wanting things! Yes, how dare they give you money! Actually, they do this, get this for free. Salty Joe's Fries! The taste-free, greasy alternative to a decent meal! Well, at least it's free. Hurry up in order, weirdos! I'm a busy guy! 
So I see! We had to fight our way through this crowd of customers you have! Quite the comedian, huh? Now how about some of Salty Joe's limp salty fries? That's not the only thing you got that's limp. Give me some fries, Joe! Yeah, fries coming right up! Eh, have a nice day, I guess. I knew he would say that. Yeah, me too! Eh, I better start frying up some more, cause I'm all out! Yes, you better prepare for the impending rush! Why, you cheeky! <laughs> oh, Kazooie. What would we ever do without you? I'll be taking another ticket, please! Okay, this looks like some kind of western area. Eh, you suck. I'll grab those notes. Hang on. There's this little game right over here. Boom. That was nice. Um... I guess I go down a little bit further. Hmm, how else do you do this? Oh, I think I have an idea. Get out like that. Oh, you need the build drill second. And then use a grenade egg. Like so. I was just doing things in the wrong order, that's all. Luckily, you can climb up this. And that Jiggy is mine. Beautiful. We haven't scoured every single area yet. I figured I'd just cover all the ground before I deal with the other stuff. So for starters, I'd like to get up here now. Oh. I see what I need to do. Don't hit me. Nice of you to not do that. Okay, this part could be treacherous. Looks like there's a platform over here. We can actually get this thing moving now! Press B to experience the scenic splendor of the cable car right across the space zone! Okay. I will gladly do that. There we get ourselves a nice little view of the place. And you can't move while you're on this, so... Dismiss that idea completely. Looks like we can get up to a different area that we couldn't before. Alright, we got ourselves a honeycomb piece as well! Okay, there's something over there that's a saucer of peril. I would imagine that mini game be there to get us something. Cool, I guess. We can ride this game again if we want to, which is pretty nice. Because we'll need to ride this car in order to get above that area. Did I see everything already? I feel like I have. That was actually pretty quick. Yeah, we, we have seen everything. Oh, I just missed those notes, that's all. Eh <laughs> heh. Oh, I can't get any more tickets because I got them all. Alright, that's fine. Alright, we did like a cursory glance up pretty much every area around this place, so in the next episode, we'll actually start going in these places. Uh, I'll just walk over here where it's safer. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode when I explore more of this place. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.